Right, we are back on the channel consistently posting videos so if you're not doing so already hit that subscribe button like this video boost the algorithm because i'm going to continue to bring you guys early looks at the best sneakers this year and today i got one of my most anticipated sneakers releasing in 2023 the air jordan 1 palomino I just got this package in from eBay. If you don't know, eBay authenticates all of their sneakers and is the only place to go for early pairs. As we know, there are lots and lots of fake reviews here on YouTube. You have to make sure you get it from a trusted source and eBay does just that. So as you can see, I popped this thing open already. You're greeted by this beautiful Meet Your Soulmates from eBay. And if I look a little sweaty in this video, you're not wrong. It is about 80 degrees here in Seattle and we don't have air conditioning in most apartment buildings or homes. So I'm just having to suffer through this for you guys. Now, one of my favorite things about ordering from eBay versus places like Goat and StockX is eBay really makes sure that your sneaker boxes are taken care of by Supreme Packaging. These things are fantastic for saving your boxes because let's face it, Nobody wants a bad box. All right, that's enough with the eBay plugs. Let's get into the sneakers. Now, first off, this box is just crazy. I love the black and gold hints all over this box. It's one of the better Jordan 1 boxes we've seen in a while. I love what they've been doing with the brand lately, trying to revamp and revitalize the Jordan 1 hype. Now, overall, most retros are kind of sitting in shelves as we've seen it lately. Nevertheless, Jordan brand is trying their best this summer to revitalize the hype with the Palominos and the UNC Toes and the Black Toe Lows releasing later this month. Official colorway for this sneaker is Black Metallic Gold Palomino. I don't know what Palomino means. I saw in another video that it means like horse, or a certain type of brown horse. Not too sure about that, but apparently that's what this color combination is. Now I'm not gonna lie to you, this is my first time really looking at this shoe in hand. And I gotta tell you, this thing is absolutely beautiful. I love the dark brown colors around the heel tab. I love the dark brown suede swoosh. Real up close, you can see that there are some scuffs. There is some factory damage to the sneaker. And I think that's gonna happen with most pairs that you get as they are mass produced and the suede is very delicate. I would expect yours to have some type of scuffing on them. Now the color of the brown reminds me a lot of the Travis Scott mochas. One of my favorite sneakers of all time. It does remind me of that Travis Scott brown. Now we saw with the Pantinas that it was a different kind of brown. We saw with the mochas a couple years ago it was more of a fluffy type of brown. But this is more of like a natural leather, almost similar to like a belt, like if you have have nice handbags or saddlebags or whatever I think it's the same color it's very similar to that moving on to the sole we have a beautiful cream-esque sole as you know Jordan brand has been killing it with the cream soles lately they've been putting it on sneaker after sneaker after sneaker the aged aesthetic is really working for Jordan brand lately and they continue to do that with this sneaker right here if we move along the tongue it is your standard nylon black tongue nothing too special about it but one thing I do really like is the gold accents the gold Nike Air is just a really nice touch to break up the monotony of the sneaker to break up the monochromatic look I really do like that touch on it as I'm expecting this more I do not see extra lacelets so it looks like the only laces you're gonna get are those factory black laces you're not gonna get any extra laces it would have been nice if they put a gold lace in there but looks like Jordan Brand just went super simple with this black laces black uppers and that nice mocha suede along the mud guard you have that nice black leather it's not too tumbled it's kind of just your regular standard Jordan 1 leather. On the outside of the shoe, you have black quarter panels and also the mocha swoosh running through. On the upper part, the ankle collar, you have that nice black leather around the ankle collar. You have that really nice embossed Jordan logo, that Wings logo is really pressed in on there. I actually like when they do that versus when they have it stick out. I think this looks a lot better aesthetically. You have the Palomino on the heel tab. Beautiful material on this. It's not like real suede. It's almost like a nubuck material would be my best way to describe it. It's not exactly like a hairy suede. It doesn't move with your fingers, but it is a nice material. Then we move to the the medial side of the shoe and you're met with the same thing as the exterior of the shoe the black quarter panel the mocha swoosh the mocha hits on the collar and the heel and along the toe box let's be honest if you don't want to spend about two thousand dollars to get a pair of travis scott highs or spend over five hundred dollars to get a pair of mocha ones the palomino is a great alternative it is neutral colors it is easy to wear it's got that nice brown on it so it matches with everything perfect shoe i mean you can really wear this sneaker year round 
and this is definitely going to become one of my daily wear. I like everything about this sneaker. There's nothing that I complain about. I can't find any faults. My overall grade on this general release Jordan 1 High Palomino is going to be an 8.2 out of 10. I think they damn near perfected this thing. I don't see anything wrong and I absolutely love this sneaker. Now, will this be remembered as one of the best sneakers in 2023? I think as far as Jordan 1s go, you have the wash blacks, you have the UNC toes, you have the black toes coming out later, but where does this rank amongst other Jordans releasing this year? I'd say the Palomino is probably the best Jordan 1 colorway to release all year. One for wearability, two for the neutral tones, and three for the materials made. I think this is a gorgeous sneaker. Thank you guys for watching and I want to know what do you think about the Jordan 1 High Palomino? Will you be copping or will you be sitting this one out? As for me, I'm going to continue to grab early pairs for you guys. Tune in next week when we have our exclusive review of the UNC Toe Jordan 1 High.